Okay, let's go ahead and solve another question from the capillary rise in a tube that is associated with the surface tension effect as well as others. Okay, here's what the question reads. I have myself a fairly small 0.01 inch diameter glass tube. Okay, and I go ahead and insert this into water and I gave you the angle that it makes as well as the height that it goes up in the capillary tube as 20 degrees is the angle, 1.8 inches is the height. My question is, what is the surface tension of water? Okay, all right, so what I do is I simply go ahead and look at page 177 of the manual and I got myself this equation. H is equal to 4 times the surface tension times cosine of this angle, they call it beta, I sometimes call it theta, um, divided by the specific weight times the diameter. So now let's assess what I know, what I don't know. H, the height. The height is given as 1.8 inches, so that's fine. So let's write it over here. This is 1.8 inches. 4 is just a number. This is the question mark. Beta is 20 degrees. Specific weight. Well, that's not really supplied to me. And this will not be supplied to you in the FE exam. What are you going to do? Well, two options. Well, go ahead and memorize this, okay? It's not a huge deal, number one. Number two, if you don't, just go to page 176, they list it over there, okay? But this is 62.4 pound per feet cube, okay? That is the specific weight of water in the British gravitational. And the diameter of the tube is given to me as 0 0.01 inches. Note that I'm writing on purpose inches so I don't get confused how to convert that, okay? Then let's rewrite this in this manner because I'm interested in surface tension. That will be h times the specific weight times the diameter divided by 4 times cosine of that angle beta. Okay, so let's insert the values then. Um, am I going to write 1.8 for h? No, not really. I have to convert that to foot, right? So that's going to be 1.8 divided by 12. And again, this will be in foot. Specific weight is 62.4. That's going to be pound per feet cube right? The diameter is 0 0.01 divided by 12. Again, that will be in feet divided by 4 times cosine of that angle 20. And let's see what cancels over here. You can see feet become square, but then there's another one, so it's pound per foot. So I good. I'm matching to the answers that it's asking me to find, okay? So from here, basically, you get yourself 1.8 times 62.4 times 0 0.01 divided by 12 squared is 144 times 4 times this cosine of 20. And if I go ahead and plug this into my calculator, I will get myself 2 times 10 to the minus 3 pound per foot. That'll be the surface tension. If I go up here, you will see that the A is the right answer. Thank you for watching this segment.